This application in, it, um, involves a new land entitlement. And this is a land entitlement that appears to me at least that's been needed for well over 30 years. Now, the reason we find ourselves here tonight, in my opinion, is because we have a cultural issue here. And that is we have a very lax enforcement of the Rancho Gustoso PAD. I think there were three opportunities to catch this issue long ago. First off, WLB could have corrected the PAD any time in the last 30 years. We've heard discussion tonight where um, Paul Oland has said there were up to 10 different parcels of land developed in Stone Canyon at which, in which grazing was done at one time. As these parcels came online, no one thought to update the PAD. That's very interesting to me. Secondly, we have an owner, the Hanson Trust, that took possession of land that wasn't properly entitled for its current use. Why didn't the Hanson Trust ask to have this resolved when they took ownership of the land? Third, um, this land's been in our town for over 30 years and it's been in a non-conforming use, yet no one from the town, no one from enforcement has mentioned this. And I, I list these three reasons because it indicates a culture to me, a culture of lax enforcement of the Rancho Vistoso PAD which is a very important legal document for our town. That Rancho Vistoso PAD governs an enormous number of entitlements in Rancho Vistoso. And I personally, I have complained and I've blogged about this. The document hasn't been properly updated in my view since 2008. 